Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're filming a very exciting video. We're going to be reviewing some new powder foundations that are on the market. So I have the Maybelline Superstay Powder Foundation and then I also have the Tarte, what is this called? The Double Duty Shape Tape Powder Foundation. Both of these are somewhat new and I was really excited when I saw both of them and felt them and just saw them in the store and so I really wanted to test them out. I have been trying them on their own but today we're going to be kind of comparing the two, seeing which one is better and seeing like if the Tarte is worth the money. The Tarte is $32 and the Maybelline one is $11.99 so way more affordable so we're definitely going to see which one is better. And so yeah, if you guys want to see this video, let's go ahead and jump in. Alrighty guys, so one thing that I've noticed from wearing both of these powders is that I do produce more oil, either that or maybe my primer just shines through a little bit better because it's just a sheer layer of powder instead of like a liquid and then baking on top of it and everything because usually when I do wear a liquid, I bake and then I also set it with another powder and it's just like a lot of layers to keep those oils like at bay. But with powder foundation, it's just kind of the powder only and so I feel like when I wear my hydrating primers underneath like my Tarte or my Smashbox it really shines through so today I want to just make sure that we're controlling the oil a little bit better so I went in with a different primer I used my Origins Pore Perfecting Primer which is just a cooling primer that's meant to keep you matte to keep your pores filled in and so now my skin is just nice and matte and really smooth so we could actually see if, which powder gets oilier if that makes any sense just because usually when I wear a loom Luminous primer it's gonna add luminosity obviously so um, first I am gonna conceal I'm gonna go ahead and correct my under eye veins I'm gonna use the shade almond from my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer and I'm just gonna pop this right on top of those veins and then I'm just gonna blend that in with my Real Techniques sponge okay and since we're doing a powder you want to do all your creams first so I am gonna go ahead and highlight my face because I still want it to look three-dimensional and highlighted so I'm gonna use the same concealer but but this time in the shade Swan. And so I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes and also like the center of my face, just right here in the T-zone. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend that in with the same sponge. And I actually need most of my coverage in the center of my face, so this is actually really good for me to do just because then I could go in with a lighter weight powder foundation rather than a liquid but I still have that coverage like in the center of my face. And to go ahead and set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use my Patrick's powder. And I don't wanna use the powder foundation just because I don't want it to look super cakey under my eyes. Plus I want it to stay like highlighted and if I put the powder foundation on top, it's just gonna darken it. Okay guys, so now that my concealer is set, this is what my face looks like with no foundation, just concealer. As you guys can see, I still have some discoloration, some acne scars that needs covering. And on my forehead, I do have some more scars. And so we're going to see how both of these powder foundations cover. I did put a little bit of translucent powder on my nose just because I feel like wearing these powder foundations, both of them, throughout the day, like my nose just looks a little bit cakier. And I feel like it's because some of it gets translucent powder on it from setting my under eyes and some of it doesn't. So I just went ahead and put like a light layer of translucent powder on my nose. Oh, and I forgot to set the concealer on my eyelids. So I'm also going to set that. Okay. So we are going to do one on one side and one on the other. So starting with the Maybelline Super State Full Coverage Foundation. I have mine in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. And this is actually the shade that I have in the liquid as well. But as you guys can see, the liquid is way, way darker. The colors don't really match up. But this is actually too dark for me. So it's kind of good that this one's lighter. But it is just a tiny bit, a little bit too light, I think. But once I put bronzer and everything, it's totally fine. And the next shade up is just way too dark and way too orange. So this is definitely going to be the color I go with. And so this is what the packaging looks like. It's just see-through and it's white. And then you open it up and you have your powder in there. And then on the bottom, it actually has a little compartment with a mirror and a sponge. I actually thought mine was broke when I was buying it because when I would go like this, I could feel it moving and it was because of that mirror. So just keep that in mind. It does look like you get a lot more product than you actually do though because it's just this little bit of product. Okay, so my favorite way to apply powder foundation is with this brush. This is the e.l.f. powder brush and it's just a big kind of kabuki brush. But it's still flexible. It's not too dense. 
pigments. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub my brush into the Maybelline powder. As you guys can see, there is some powder kick up. Get a good amount on there. And we'll see how this baby does. So I'm just gonna press it in. I feel like I do use a lot of powder foundation. I'm not one of those people that's like, okay, done. I like really pack it on. So I'm just gonna load this up until I get the coverage that I want. But as you guys can see, that is what the color looks like. It's already covering up my discoloration, but as you guys can see, my scars are still peeking through. So I definitely want to build it up until it covers that. And then you could even go in like circular motions to really buff it in. Okay, so it's definitely covering now. It looks very, very smooth on the skin. It has a really pretty finish. Then I'll go ahead and move on to my forehead. I have some scars definitely right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with a smaller, denser brush now. It's a Kabuki as well, but it's just a little bit more dense and this one's from Real Techniques but what I like to do with this one is really go in where I need the coverage so I'm going to use this one for my nose just to make sure I get like half of my nose and then I'm also just going to spot conceal any places that still need coverage like this little scar up here oh dang it really covered it that time and then also these scars down here they're pretty much covered but you guys know I love me some full coverage so I'm really going to load it up right there. Okay guys, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do for the Maybelline side. As you guys can see, it covers really nicely. It just has a really pretty like powdery finish. And the color, like I said, is just a little bit light. But once we bronze, it should look fine. My pores look really filled in, just really nice. I've noticed with both of these powder foundations that um, they do like sink into the pores more easily than a liquid foundation especially towards more of the middle of the day like my pores are a little bit more visible okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the tart side with the same brushes but i am gonna go ahead and clean them off so moving on to the tart side the tart one does come in a box the maybelline doesn't come in a box it's literally like on the shelf like this but this is what the actual packaging of this one looks like it's this kind is the new pretty and it's in this really pretty purple packaging and then on the back it does have my color and i got the color light neutral which is 22 in and then with this one you do get the mirror inside as well and then you also have a little compartment on the bottom too um so you only get a tiny bit of product as well see um i'll actually tell you guys how much is in here hold on one second so this one has 11 grams of product how much does the maybelline one have six grams so the tart one does have more but it's way more pricier okay i'm gonna apply this the same exact way as i did the maybelline one and i do feel like you have to build this one up a lot more than the maybelline the maybelline does have more coverage um, but it's so weird because on their website and also like on the display and stuff, it says like medium to buildable or lightweight to buildable. I just know it says like buildable, but then on their tutorial for YouTube, Tarte Cosmetics tutorial, she said it's full coverage. And so I was really confused about that. But yeah, anyways, so let's go ahead and apply this. This one is a little bit darker. I feel like it matches me a little bit better than the Maybelline one. So I'll probably definitely have to bronze up the Maybelline side a little bit more just so I don't look crazy but this powder to the touch feels so silky like when you rub your fingers in it I feel like I have scars on the side but they're not as bad as like this side over here and this one had a little cute imprint on it, it had like lines and then the tart um symbol or name what am I saying it's the tart like imprinted in the powder um, but now it's kind of like rubbed away. This one I feel like feels a little bit more lighter weight than the Maybelline side. It just feels like a lighter weight powder. And now going in with that smaller brush, we're going to do the same thing as we did the other side. And just build it up where I need more coverage. We'll see how it does at covering this little breakout I have under my eye. Yeah, pretty much looks the same, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so this is what my face looks like with both powders. And what I'm noticing so far is one, the color difference is actually not that bad. And two, my pores look a lot more minimized on the Maybelline side. Hopefully you guys could see that. But yeah, I feel like on the Maybelline side, my pores are definitely more filled in and more smooth compared to the Tarte side. So other than that, they're both really, really matte and they both have around the same coverage now that I built them up. And so that's the only difference that I'm seeing right now. So it is now 12.24 p.m. And so I'm going to go ahead and wear this throughout my whole day and do a wear test.
test but I am going to go ahead and finish up my makeup off camera and then I'll be back on camera to tell you guys like how everything went on top of the powders and just show you the finished look and so I will be right back. Oh my gosh guys I feel so naked without eyelashes but I need to give my eyelashes a break and let them breathe um, but I finished my makeup it is now 1 20 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys could take a look. Alrighty guys so this is the Tarte side and this is the Maybelline side and I had no problems blending anything on top my bronzer blush highlight all that jazz went on perfectly and the same on each side and so yeah that's pretty much all I have to update you guys on so far so good everything is looking nice it still looks very fresh so I am gonna come in at the end of the day to show you guys how both powders held up on my skin I have worn them alone but I haven't worn them next to each other so I'm really interested to see how they compete but yeah that's when we'll really see like the true test and see which one is better but yeah I'll go ahead and check back in with you guys later on hey guys so it is now the end of the night it is 8 18 p.m. so I've been wearing this foundation or these foundations for eight hours now so let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look okay so towards the middle of the day I was looking at the foundations and kind of like analyzing it and then I also asked Christian which side he liked better without telling him which was which and he actually liked the tart side better he said it just looked smoother and filled in my pores a little bit more and I did agree with that like the tart side did look better but now that I'm looking at my face at the end of the night after wearing it all day it seems like the Maybelline one just wore better on my skin and it looks overall better than the tart side now but yeah other than that like they're so similar guys like they're so similar so this is the tart side right here this is what she's looking like i didn't have really any oxidation the color still looks the same as you guys could see i'm creasing a lot more on the tart side than i am the maybelline side i'm still creasing on the maybelline side just not as much i do have some wearing off right here on the bottom of my nose i sneezed like so many times today and both powders actually held up pretty nicely from me blowing my nose and stuff but they are just worn off both sides a little bit right there now i do feel like on the tart side i'm just like a teensy bit more oilier than the maybelline side on the maybelline side i'm still pretty oily but just not as bad on my nose and as for the forehead like both sides look identical on the forehead they actually look really nice on the forehead both of them they just look very healthy and like luminous it doesn't look too oily and then as for my pores i do feel like they're just a little bit more filled in on the maybelline side rather than the tart side and so overall the maybelline is pretty much a dupe for the tart if not better because it does have better coverage and it does wear better and so yeah guys so basically my final thoughts are I would go with the Maybelline one just because it's cheaper it wears better but the Tarte powder foundation is not a bad powder foundation whatsoever it actually wore really nicely as well it's just that if you compare the two the Maybelline I feel like did win this little battle and so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up so I can know to keep doing these videos for you guys and if you have any questions for me leave it in the comments down below and if you're not already subscribed to my channel Brittany Raquel go ahead and subscribe before you leave. I do make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so that's three times a week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!